Travel at Warren's garage, who'd have thought it? Here, do your dad a favour, pop those in the bin. Are you putting these recycling? Um, shouldn't you be an after school homework club? How's it homework if you're doing it at school? Anyways, why don't Aunt and Didi have to go? Because their grades are an embarrassment, that's why. <sighs> Maybe you should go, yeah? I've just said she's going, and can you stop undermining me? It's fine, I'll go. Right, I need to check in downstairs. Hero, your mum's got a lot on her mind right now with a court case. But don't worry, everything's gonna be fine, I promise. For who? For me? Or for your mum? Bye, Dad. You're the first. Please take a seat, Miss Hutchinson. Uh, I go by row now. Mm. I'm curious. Why not Robert? Or Bob? I just like row. Forgive the irony, but it's not a real boy's name, though, is it? What do your parents think of it? I mean, my dad's OK with it. But your mum isn't. I know she's very keen that you don't make any rash decisions, so let's just stick with Rose for now, shall we? While all this settles down. But Rose is who I am. I understand that's what you're thinking right now, but what happens when you change your mind? Some people go so far down this path that they can't turn back, and all because they don't know who they are. I know who I am. Nothing's going to change my mind about that. Hey, is that Freddie Roscoe? When did he get back? I didn't ask. I mean, I've got enough going on without taking a trip down memory lane. Look, our child is worried we're arguing because of them. You know what? I just... I really didn't appreciate you making me out to be bad cop all the time. Well, that isn't what I was trying to do. But right now, all Bro needs to know is that we're listening. Cos however confusing this is for us, it's a million times harder for him. I'm just scared that she's gonna make a choice that she'll regret. Well, talking to Sally really helped me see things differently. Maybe you should talk to somebody too. Oh, hello, fresh meat. Hey, who's the new grease monkey? <laughs> okay, why do I feel like I've missed something? Thank you, everyone. Please, Grace, I'm going to know what's hit them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I get by, please? I think you misunderstood me earlier, and I would like to clear the air, so please sit. OK. You know we're not in actual school, right? Are you sure about that? Take a look around you. There are chairs, desks, textbooks. How would you describe this room that we're presently in? A classroom. Right. A classroom. So there's no denying its identity. I, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Sir, I would have thought you, of all people, would understand people's preferred titles. Can I please go, sir? I'm not finished. I am just trying to understand what it is you're going through so that perhaps I can help you with this confusion. I would like you to describe to me what you feel it means to be a boy, Rose. I don't know. And it's rope. You don't know, yet that's how you wish to be identified. Yeah, because I was born in the wrong body. Well, forgive me, I believe we were all born as God intended, so what is so wrong with being Rose Hutchinson? Stop calling me that! I'm simply trying to understand. I only have your best interests at heart. Please, just stop it! Why won't you talk to me, Rose? It's Rose! Thought starting work as a trainee nurse would be enough drama for one week. I love the name Rose, by the way. Why are you telling me all this? Because the last time I tried to give you my opinion on something, your husband went all Bruce Banner. Yeah, I'm sorry. It won't be happening again. I'm just worried about the future. You know, could it be a phase? Although Rob insists that it's not, and we really just want what's best for him. I get it. You're scared to be losing your little girl, but ask yourself this. Do you want Ro to be happy? Yeah, of course we do. Are you sure? because I swear down that it's going to mean both of you being happy too. Excuse me. Hello, Tony Hutchinson. Hi. 
Rao is going to need a support network of people who have got his back. So please, don't be like my dad who couldn't accept me for who I am. I am nothing like your dad. Like, the last thing I want to do is upset our child. Like... Well, yeah, that's a good start, but you two have got to get on the same page. Because if Rao senses any tension, he's going to think it's him. So talk to him, please. He's not exactly a bad kid. It's not like he's going to go round kicking off. Sorry, that was Carter. Apparently, Rose attacked him. Please take a seat. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry. Hey, why don't we establish the facts first before we start issuing apologies? Yeah, well, of course, I want to know exactly what happened. Because, you know, our kids are kind and respectful, and they certainly wouldn't resort to violence. Well, I was trying to engage Ro in a conversation about some of the issues that they've been facing recently, and I fear that some of my words were misinterpreted. But you wouldn't listen to me. So what happens now? I'm afraid as it happened on school grounds, I have a duty to report it. To who? The local education authority and the police. Mum, I barely touched him! Hey, hey, calm down. Now, I know that this situation is likely to cause a lot of stress. There is another option, which I believe could benefit everyone. Oh, come on, then, let's hear it. Well, I think I could help Ro face some of the issues that they're going through in our special behavioural unit. The SBU. What would that involve? Well, there would be dedicated one-to-one -one sessions, some role-playing, but really, it would give you time as a family to work towards an outcome which would make everyone happy. And what if I refuse? Ro gets expelled, right? And I would really hate for that to happen. Look, the SBU has had some real success. And you have my assurance that Roe would have my undivided attention. What do you say? Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? It's Roe, isn't it? Has anyone told you how handsome you look today? Welcome to the world, kid. You're gonna be just fine. So to catch up on all the latest drama in the Hollyoaks Village, you need to click here to watch full episodes or here to get some little snippets of what's been going on. Do not forget to subscribe.